Okay, so I did my uh, section on rural Irish resistance, and to start off, <clears throat> between 1919 and 1921, the country of Ireland's people went through an extremely violent time. This was also known generally as the Anglo-Irish War. Um, and a group of young men got together to ban the IRA, also known as the Irish Republican Army, shortly after the Easter Rising, with the idea that violence was the best way to gain their independence from Britain. So, um, to start, the Easter Rising was caused by Irish Republicans when they banded together to get rid of British rule in Ireland. And just some facts about the Easter Rising. Um, the Easter Rising was actually supposed to be worldwide, but there were many um, mishaps that led it to just being confined to Dublin. Um, so the British government had found out about their uprising, and three days before the attack actually began, Sir Roger Casement, an Irish nationalist, was arrested and um, or for putting up arms against the British in rebellion. Um, and on April 29th, after a week of explosive fighting um, with the Easter Rebellion, Easter Uprising at the beginning, the Irish were bombarded with British artillery and they finally surrendered in Dublin. Um, and the prisoners from the Easter Rising were released. Once that had happened, um, more conflict began among the Irish society and this kind of kick-started the Irish War of Independence. So in Dublin, where Michael Collins was beginning his attacks, he and his team that assembled were going out and killing those that were seen to the public as Irish activists. Um, and his assassinations were considered most, um, like almost terrorist-like. Um, and in 1920, Sine Féin won the local government election and a lot of functions that affected most of Ireland basically fell under him. And uh, long story short, this caused an <clears throat> escalation in the war. And there were huge burnings in the towns and cities. Um, and the IRA responded by forming together a group called the Flying Columns and everything became more and more ruthless than before and this is where guerrilla warfare became very prevalent during this time. So as the war went on um, for about a year the British and the Irish were able to come to some kind of agreement for a treaty and the fighting was eventually brought to an end by July 20, 1921 and the Irish um, Rural resistance was very violent, um, really all between the differences of between the Irish and Great Britain and their disputes among Irish's independence. And um, finally, again, that fighting came to an end in July of 1921.